Hello there. Welcome to this really, really special design masterclass with me, Carol, and the lovely Natalia Coleman. Natalia, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Looking forward to this. It's going to be good fun, isn't it? You've changed, actually, since the last kind of five minutes. You, your hair's down, you've got a different outfit on. and it, Amazing, isn't it's it? It's amazing. It's just <laughs> incredible. She's completely changed. Uh, no, you've just seen Get Started with uh, Metal Clay, which is a fantastic pre-recorded uh, masterclass that we recorded a few months ago uh, with Jenny. It is, um, it is the most amazing medium to get involved with. Uh, we've, we've come on such a journey with Metal Clay and with Silver Clay over the last few years. Um, from um, from having uh, her own workshops here at Jewelry Maker to taking these incredible kits to the Hobby Craft Show at the NEC this year and last year. They've been really, the reception that we've had from all these gorgeous kits is, is just, it's just infectious. It really, really is incredible. Now on today's live masterclass, we want your input as well. We'd love to hear from you today. If you have any specific uh, questions um, for Natalia regarding metal clay, uh, then we'd love to hear from you. Um, here's our text number. It's 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio, your name, where you're from maybe, and, and a brief question, and we'll do our best to read it out. Um, also, if you want to uh, contact us on our Facebook page, uh, on our Facebook page, uh, then please do, and we'll try and read those questions out as well. Ignore the bit that says only between 9 and 1 p.m. We know that the text um, um, coming through now will be for Natalia, and text to charge at your standard network rate. Fantastic. Now, coming up on today's show, We've got some really, really special brand new products. Um, this is really exciting. Um, and I know Natalia um, has put this bundle together. It is just incredible. This is gonna be your first chance to come in and get beautiful, amazing, incredibly versatile bronze wire. Now, Natalia, this is, this is pretty special stuff, isn't it? It is. Um, a lot of the wire that we sell on JM is either, well, it's sterling silver wire or it's um, plated copper wire or it's coloured wire. This is genuine bronze wire all the way through. So what that means is you can fire it within your copper and bronze clay pieces and um, it will be bronze coloured when you finish firing it and it, it finishes up beautifully. Yeah, and you can really polish it up to quite a shine, can't you? You can, yeah. Um, this is going to be coming up on today's show. We are going to be bringing you these, these brand new products with um, some really awesome brand new sandpapers as well. Um, before that though, we wanted to bring you the starter pack. Uh, the starter kit because I think for everyone who's new is watching today because this has been very very heavily promoted this um, this um, design masterclass um, 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 you may not have come in to get the starter pack the metal clay starter pack um, this really gives you everything that you need doesn't it Natalia it is it's an essential and yeah. I'd say if you haven't already invested in it then get it today and yeah. it will literally give you everything you need to get going it, it really is as simple as that even even with the silver clay um, uh, with the silver clay um, uh, pack that we bring you you need uh, you need a camping stove you need a gas cooker with this there's literally absolutely everything in here that you need the first and I think most important thing with this um, starter pack is the fact that it comes with instructions a list of instructions did you write these Natalia yes, I did. fantastic so these are really really nice and clear and concise if you've watched any of Natalia's um, master classes before or any of her demonstrations or you've uh, been lucky enough to come on any of her workshops you'll know that she's an extremely good teacher so everything in this little instruction manual here um, is going to guide you through the very very basics of of um, of using your metal clay and making gorgeous pieces in this starter pack you're going to be getting everything that you need. Okay, that includes a hundred grams of copper clay. Now, that is a lot of clay, and we'll see what a hundred grams of clay looks like in just a few seconds when we go and speak to Natalia and we and we and we see her physically demonstrating with uh, the clay today. It is a lot of clay. You can make a lot out of this, can't you, Natalia? You can. And the three pieces that I've got to show you today have been made with about thirty grams of clay. So wow. just a third of the clay, and we've made some beautiful jewelry already. So that's, so that's incredible, and and they're big pieces, as we'll see in a few seconds. So 100 grams of your clay, this is going to last and last and last, which is wonderful. You can make some really, really big pieces out of this. You will see all of these tools being used in a few seconds, well, pretty much all of these tools being used in a couple of seconds. So let me just whiz through these for you. You're going to be getting your metal uh, wire brush. Okay, you're going to be getting your clay balm. These are all essentials. There's nothing in here that you will think, oh, why on earth, why on earth do I need this? Everything here you will need. You've got your heat proof um, Teflon mat. 
you've got your pack of playing cards, you've got your water artist's pen, okay? These are all essentials, don't forget. You've got your agate burnisher, which I'll just take out of the packet here, your agate burnisher. And this is an amazing tool. It really helps you get that nice high shine on your clay pieces. Um, you've also got your acrylic roller, fantastic for rolling out your pieces of clay. Your pickling solution. You've also, all of these will be explained, don't forget, your three thicknesses of sandpaper. Now, these are quite small squares that you're going to be getting here, but they are absolute essentials. We are going to be bringing you some nice big sheets a little bit later on in the show today, just to bear that in mind. So from fine through to super fine. And you're also going to be getting a cutter, fantastic, an agate, um, an agate uh, slide, sorry, not an agate slide, sorry, an acrylic slide, and another 100 grams of bronze clay. So in total, there are 200 grams of clay here. That is an astonishing amount of clay. Oh, you're also getting tweezers as well, which I didn't even tell you. Now, you are gonna see all of these things being used in just a few seconds. You're gonna see Natalia physically demonstrating with this starter pack, which is gonna be incredible. You'll see what all of these incredible tools are useful for. I think the major, major um, uh, pulling point for me with this starter pack is not only the fact that you get 200 grams of clay, which is a vast amount of clay, it's huge amounts of clay, but it's the fact that it comes with instructions as well. Now, you are going to have a chance during today's masterclass to come in and get the DVD and, of course, to physically record the show and also um, to uh, be inspired by the demonstrations that you see on today's show. Um, we're going to bring the price on screen. I've, I've, I've forgotten two really important things that come as well with this starter pack. Your firing block, your firing block, which is an absolute essential because you need to find your pieces on something which is heat proof and very, very substantial, and your gas torch as well. Now, this is undoubtedly the biggest starter pack we have on Jewelry Maker. It is the biggest, most substantial starter pack of any of the starter packs that we have here on Jewelry Maker. The only one that comes close to this is probably something like the gem, um, the uh, sorry, the jewel enamel starter pack that comes with the melting pot. But this physically, the amount that you get, the amount of tools that you get, how fantastically um, um, these instructions have been written, which is going to guide you through one of the most amazing um, jewelry making journeys you will have ever gone on before. There is the most incredible deal for you today, and you are going to be inspired by everything. $54.95. Now, that is for literally everything you can see here. Everything. From your clay balm to your, to your wire brush, to your pickling solution, to your playing cards, agate burnisher, acrylic roller, uh, to your, um, to your uh, uh, blowtorch, to your firing block, 200 grams of clay, your instruction manual as well. And this is incredible, it really is incredible. Now, the amount of people who are actually come in to get these starter packs um, 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 to prepare themselves for coming on one of Natalia's workshops is fantastic. Now, Natalia, you are going to be, I mean, you do do lots and lots of workshops here at Jewelry Maker. When's your next, when's your next workshop? Do you know? Um, I believe it's September. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Fanta yes. Is that a silver clay one or a metal clay well, one? Well, oh, actually, I have a silver clay one in August. Oh, um, fantastic. The first week in August. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so actually next Friday. Ooh, <laughs> Introduction to silver clay. And then I have um, some more workshops in um, September. This is fantastic. So you can so you can come in and get this starter pack today, book on a workshop, which is what a lot of people do, um, and then and then you can have this all ready to work with once you come on our workshops. You don't have to go on the workshops, but it's a great it's a great way it's a great way of learning about this. Sixth sixth of September, I think, is the next metal clay workshop. So do bear that in mind. This is undoubtedly the biggest starter pack that we have here on Joy Maker, and for less than sixty pounds, for less than fifty five pounds, you are getting a brand new hobby, and it's literally everything that you need. The only other thing is, um, is, is just gas for your blowtorch, but that is it. It's amazing, isn't it? Right, now, um, you can get involved in a couple of different ways, either by giving us a call on our free phone number, getting involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Um, it is free to call if you're phoning from a BT landline, which is wonderful. Um, we're going to be bringing you lots and lots and lots of extras on today's show as well. Now, if you've already started to add to your order from watching the live show today between 9 and 1, you're not going to be paying any more in P&P. It's just um, uh, £2.95 P um, uh, uh, P for the entire day. And also, your clay kit comes in this really, really awesome gorgeous storage box as well, which is just lovely, and you can store your bits in here as well. Fantastic. Right. Now, 
We are going to catch up with Natalia and some incredible techniques uh, that she's going to be showing us today. Natalia, what are you going to be focusing on today? I'm going to be focusing on showing you how to use the new product, so uh -huh. the bronze wire and um, showing you what to do with it, how mm -hmm. it can be useful, both as a decorative effect and also to actually hold a, a stone. Because I know everybody's really keen on setting gemstones in their metal clay, and so, you know, it's about time we showed you yeah. how to do that. I totally agree, I totally agree. It's gonna be wonderful um, to see Natalia work, to see how she works in her, in her element, which is, which is metal clay. Now, we do have new products on today's show. Since we launched the metal clay kit, which I think must have been 18 months ago, probably yes, maybe even longer ago than that, not just hundreds, thousands of the metal clay kit have sold. So that's thousands of you who've taken up this brand new medium. Hundreds of people have come on, on, on Natalia's workshop. Thousands of Natalia's DVDs have sold. There is going to be a huge amount of interest on the phones and on the web this afternoon for these brand new products. When you see Natalia using them and you see just how easy they are to use and you see the effects of, 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 of using them, oh my goodness me, you are going to want to get these. The price point is astonishingly low, okay? Do bear all that in mind because this is one of the first times we bought you brand new products with the metal clay. Um, we bought you brand new products in the past for metal clay, but only a couple, and they've always, always, always been massive sellers. Right, now Natalia, you're getting two lots of sandpaper here. Can you explain to me what these what these, what these are? Are they, are they different gauges? Are they different um, yes. hardnesses? They're, they're different gradients of grittiness. Right. So you have a very gritty piece, which is the one that you're holding in your, I believe that's your left hand. Is that but one on there? the right hand of the screen. Yes. And <laughs> um, that one is, is very, quite coarse. Um, mm -hmm. So I would recommend using that for um, the, the metal clays, don't use it on silver clay. Okay. You can also use it for sanding polymer clay, for sanding resin, for sanding Ooh, dual enamel. fantastic. So it's very versatile, it goes across the, the other mediums. And Lovely. they're wet and dry so you can wash them out. Oh, fantastic. So it's, really good. it's nice to have them in these nice big sizes as well, isn't it? Oh, I know, because you're going to cut them down and yeah. so you're going to use little strips of them. Yeah. And don't chuck them out when you're finished. You know, I use them in workshops and then I just recycle them all yeah. so you don't get rid of them. And then the other one is much smoother if you run your hand over it you can feel yeah, it is much it, much smoother yeah it's it's a, a, a gentler um, kind of gradient to yes. grit. so that would be used to, for, for refining pieces so when you've waited when you've waited for your um, copper and bronze clay to dry out mm. that's when you would use these at this point you can also use them for the polishing stage as well ah, and in fantastic. which case you would use them wet after you fired okay brilliant so you've got your two lots of um, sandpaper here you're also going to be getting this really, really special looking wire. Now, this is bronze wire, isn't it, it Natalia? It is, yeah, pure bronze wire, and it's an um, eight uh, millimeter gauge. So it's, um, it's a really lovely um, wire to work with. And I've used it not only in embedding into the copper and bronze clay, but I've also used it after, you know, just as a decorative, Ooh, you know, to, that's for a nice creating idea. wire wrap loops and things like that. Uh, now, this will react differently, I assume, to uh, to the copper wire that we have and the sterling silver wire that we have. Yes. Um, um, how how does it react differently? Does it does it just does it just work a lot better when it when it goes through the firing process? Or? It's a, obviously, if you're going to use a, a wire that's coated, then you know coating come off and, and it mm. won't necessarily look as good. If you're going to use okay. sterling silver wire, you're likely to melt it in okay. the firing process. So this is why we recommend to use this one. And you can also polish it up if you can. You're not going to embed it in there if you want. If you're just watching today and you think I want to get hold of this wire for myself then you know you can use it in that kind of um, brushed look or you can polish it well this is it and it does polish up to an absolutely beautiful finish which we'll see um, there's also another lot of wire here this is incredible the, the, just so you know on the web already these are flying out the door they really really are so you've got to be there nice and early on the phone lines um, you're also going to be getting this flat wire. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this, Natalia. This is really, really interesting. This is um, flat uh, four mil gauge wire. Yes. Wow. What? 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 what 
What have you used this for? <laughs> How have you used this? This is amazing. Yeah, lost for words, Carol. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, well, you, traditionally, that type of wire is called bezel wire. And so what you would do is you could you would create a bezel, but of you would course. need to solder it. So yes. we're not going to be doing any soldering today, but I'm going to show you how you can use it decoratively and how you can embed it into the clay before you fire it. Lovely. Oh, this is going to be awesome. So in essence, you have got five metres of your 0.8 millimetre gauge bronze wire. OK, now this is bronze wire to use with your metal clay, of course. And you're also going to be getting a metre of your bronze flat wire, which is four millimetres in gauge. Two lots of your um, different uh, different uh, grittiness of, of uh, sandpaper. You're going to be getting your medium and your ultra fine. Now, one great price for you today already over a hundred of these have been allocated okay we haven't even bought the price on screen yet over a hundred have gone on the web already we've got to bring the price on screen because it would be unfair to to not bring the price on today this is your deal for all of these brand new products now 15.95 and you're going to be getting all of this you're going to be getting your sandpaper which as natalie says is completely wet and dry you're not going to be using it in one big sheet you are going to be cutting it down and using little snippets of it um and, and um, not only that, but you're also going to be getting your two lots of wire. Having bronze wire and using it with bronze clay and copper clay, this is, this is, this is fantastic because it's a very, very substantial wire. It polishes up absolutely beautifully. And when you see the jewelry that Natalia has created using these wires, oh my goodness, it really is incredible. Give us a call now or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. That really is superb. And we've never bought you anything like this on Jewelry Maker before. So very, very exciting times here. And judging by the amount of you on the phone lines and the amount of you on the web, that is just awesome, awesome, awesome. So do give us a call when you can. Natalia, this has been very, very, very well received, I'm happy to say. Good, and it's a really good price, that. And you know, Brilliant. I know that we get the little snippets of the sponge sanding pads yes. in the starter kit, but you know that's just enough to tempt you to get started. You I need, think so. You're going to need more as you go along. As Definitely. the hobby takes a grip on you, exactly. you make more and more stuff. <laughs> can you show us the? Um, can you show us how you've used these two brand new wires okay. in, in these pieces of jewellery? Because there's some beautiful examples here, Natalia. You've that's made some lovely pieces. Primrose type flower with the peridot that necklace oh um, wow that's gorgeous what I've done there is I've actually used the wire in two ways it's kind of a, like a double dip with that yeah, particular pendant so what I've done is I've, I've the same piece of wire I've pushed through the center oh, so that wow. you can actually put um, a full fully drilled shell pearl through there Look at that. and then put a little flourish at the end oh that's beautiful and then the other the other end of the wire which is through the back is creating a bale so you just want to turn it around you'll see Oh, that's um, incredible. Look at this. So I created a little bail to hang the piece with. Yes. And one of the things that um, oh, is that's a, amazing. It's a challenge when you're firing your copper or bronze clay with mm -hmm. a torch is connecting two pieces of copper or bronze exactly. together. Yep. Yep. But the torch firing isn't hot enough to be able to connect the two pieces, kiln firing well, but not okay. the torch firing. So this is the challenge you have to overcome, and the wire does that beautifully. Oh, that's brilliant. You've used the flat wire in this design here, haven't you? I have, yes, and I've used it. You know, that, that wire will go a really long way, um, because what you what I've done there is I've actually cut it down, and I'm going to show you how you can work with it. So you've so literally far. used strips of this wire, mm -hmm. you've left it unrolled, you've fired the copper, Yes. Um, you've fired the copper, you've put the, um, and once it's nice and cool, you've put the gemstone in and you've literally curled the wire down to create yeah. your own claw setting. And it, it holds the gemstone perfectly. That's incredible. Yeah. See, this is, there are so many people who I'm sure in the past have said to mm -hmm. you, how do you set other gemstones? Yeah. Gemstones that can't be fired. How do I set a gemstone that can't be fired into a metal clay piece? This is how you do it, yeah. by coming in to get this bundle today. £15.95 p, and you can create pieces that look as beautiful as that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you've used wire in there as well and things which are readily available here on Jewelry Maker. Right, so what are we going to see first, Natalia? We're going to see, I call it the petunia um, pendant. Lovely. It looks like a petunia that's in my little flower basket in the garden. Oh, it's reminded how nice. me of that when I was looking out the window this morning thinking I must mow my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were talking about your bushes earlier on, weren't <laughs> <Yeah>. you? <laughs> yes. There we go. My Enough lawn of that. Go. Right. Okay, now, first things first is if you watched the um, one hour metal clay introduction earlier on, you'll mm. have heard me saying, roll your clay to six playing cards thickness. And um, I've got these, <laughs> these very well used playing cards here that I've taped together. Mm -hmm. um, I like to roll my clay as thick as possible because it has a much better chance of withstanding the firing with the torch mm, mm. when it's when it's thicker. 
And what I'm going to do is I've got my playing cards propped up onto my surface that I'm going to roll out onto, which is a piece of Teflon that comes in the starter kit. And I've got yeah. some. This is all in the starter pack, actually. Details all at the bottom of the, the screen there kit. for 54 Even 95. the playing cards are in the starter kit. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And then I've just put a little bit of clay balm onto my Teflon. Mm -hmm. And then also what I mentioned in the in the introduction to metal clay is how to condition your clay. Mm. Really important to condition your clay because it's been sitting in the packet and you need to distribute the binders and um, make it nice and soft. So I added a little bit of um, glycerin, liquid Ooh, glycerin. Oh, lovely, okay. So, um, so I have some clay that's ready to roll out now. And then, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pinch off an amount of clay and just pop that down on my... But you can get glycerin from any from any kind of chemist, can't yeah, you? Yeah, from a from a pharmacy, mm. from well known high street chemist is where I got mine from. And then I want to roll into a a nice even round shape. Mm -hmm. And don't forget this acrylic roller also in the starter pack. Everything that Tal is using here is in the starter pack. It's brilliant starter pack. So I'm rolling here onto a quite a slippery surface, which is why we normally use the beadboard and things. Um, so if you're doing this at home, if you if you can get a little um, foam mat or something to, to roll out yeah. onto, you won't have these problems. Or maybe an overturned placemat, around. something like that. Yeah, so a little yeah. bit of cork or something like mm. that. Okay. And then when I've rolled it and it cannot go any further because of the, the playing cards are stopping it, I'm going to just take um, this cutter mm -hmm. and um, put a little bit of clay balm always on my tools and um, just to make sure that things don't stick. And then I'm just going to cut perfect circle here and then I'll just push the, the cutter all the way through and just twist from side to side with the cutter and then remove your excess clay and pop that back into your cling film because you don't want to uh, don't mix it with your bronze clay I've got some bronze clay I want to use later on how, much, how, how much clay would you say that is there I would say that that's about 10 grams of clay that's fantastic and yeah. you get Possibly less. When, when you use when you use this, which is of course is the um, is the copper clay, you've still got ninety grams of your clay left over from your starter pack. Don't forget, and an additional hundred grams of your bronze clay. So you can see why it's such a great deal, can't you? It's amazing. Right. So you've got your. I've got some cocktail sticks here. Okay. So this is a, a rummage around in your larder. It's very technical. Find lots this of, um, cocktail lots sticks. Of, yeah, cocktail sticks that won't break. <laughs> <laughs> they are super cocktail sticks. <laughs> they are. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift my my circle up. I'm just going to okay. pinch the edges just slightly because we want this uh, flowers are organic. They okay. are. And um, what you want is your clay to be really nice and smooth and you can see I've got a lovely smooth um, yeah. surface there. So any cracks or crumbliness you want to try and get rid of that so it's a squishy clay up again and roll it out again. If, okay. If you and then to make this this kind of shape what I'm doing is I'm just supporting the oh, clay yeah. face down and putting a cocktail stick underneath and this creates this petunia shape or this poppy type shape. So just pop in a, a cocktail stick. And the reason I've torn them in half is because if you have really long cocktail sticks, you're trying to get this into somewhere where, yes. you, can, uh, where you can put it on one side. It's like trying to play pickup sticks. Yeah, your cocktail sticks are going all over the place. <laughs> um, so I've, I've put four of them. You could put more if you wanted, a slightly okay. different looking flower. Lovely. And so what I'm doing is I'm just pinching in like that. Lovely. To create that that kind of shape okay and however you position the clay to dry it will dry in that shape so make sure that you're you know supporting it mm. in, the, in the position that you want it to be in um, and dry that out for, for a good length of time if you're going to speed dry it put it in a warm oven on top of a radiator Lovely. Um, I wouldn't advise it putting it outside because a lot of people think oh it's sunny um, the oxygen tends to make it start oxidizing straight away so try and avoid going outdoors with it if you can. But an airing cupboard or something like that an would be good cupboard, wouldn't it? Yeah. So anywhere where it's nice and warm um, leave that for a couple of hours okay and the the acid test is if you put it on a, a mirrored surface and you can see if there's any kind of halo around it. Yeah, kind of absolutely, moisture. yes. Okay, so here's a, a piece that I made um, and I dried it out. Now what I've done is a, a little bit like a dandruff um, <laughs> commercial. Mm -hmm. So I've started to sand one side and I've left the other. And this was quite rough when I did it. I did it quite quickly to bring. Can you see it's got that crumbly kind of almost yeah. like cookie dough texture. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Now, if I left it like this and I fired it, mm -hmm. then what you see is what you'd get. Okay. So you might quite like that. And I've seen mm. people put entries on the Wall of Fame, post their, you know, their pictures to me. 
Um, and one thing that people always say to me is, I want my finish to be better. I want it to look shop bought. I want it to be very mm. smooth and polished. So the more work that you do at this stage, the better. And right. So what I've done is I've got our new product Yay. here. So this is the um, the one that's got the, the highest micro nerve grit. Mm. So this one is called the, the, the medium. You can see on the back it's got the red writing. Medium. And the other one has got the blue writing, which yeah. is called Ultra Fine. And then I've just cut myself off um, a piece of this. And people always say to me, which side do I use? So <laughs> you may think that's the obvious, but people ask me that so many times. The just bit without the writing. The bit without the writing, the bit that is. And I've actually seen people in my workshop sanding with the, with the, uh, the, the sponge, sponge bit. bit. Yeah. So if you've ever done that, don't feel bad because a lot of people do. <laughs> I bet um, you've done it before as well. No, I've there you never are taking done the mickey it. I've out done of everyone. Other silly things, <laughs> um, which I won't go into. And um, so, so we're going for the grey, gritty, uh, crackly side. And um, what we're going to do is just show you. Don't put too much pressure on, but obviously you want it to start lifting a kind of fine powder. Just pop your head back a bit, Natalia. Oh, sorry. It's okay. My big head. She's just in engrossed. Way. I am. You see, I'm getting, my whole body's getting into this, this, this masterclass. <laughs> um, so what, what you're doing is you're basically doing it with enough kind of fervour to, to start to, to take a, a fine layer of the, the dust That's off. That's gorgeous. And it starts to get much better. I can see, what, I can see where you've got the different grades. That's really interesting. You need, you need something of this kind of um, coarseness because these clays are quite tough. Yes, I'm sure they are. And then what I've done is because we had a perfect circle, we want it to, to look like in the, the parts where we've got this kind of well in the centre. Mm. I'm just going to sand away that little edge to make it look more flower like. Oh, see, that's lovely. You're creating kind of definition there, aren't like you? Like a little bloom shape. Lovely. And don't forget the, um, the sandpaper Natan is using here, along with the other thickness of that um, sandpaper. I need two lots of bronze wire. Details there, £15.95. These are all brand new today. All of them brand new today, which is wonderful. So you're going around the edges, you're doing the back of the piece, you're really being very mm -hmm. thorough, which I'm not going to do for the, for the sake of no, time now. No, that's fine. And that's then I'm going to move down to my ultra fine one, which is a lot smoother. Now this is okay to use with the silver clay as well, that's isn't it? It's good to use for the silver clay, okay. yeah. Polymer clay is great for as well. And um, what I would do is, you know, although I say wash them out and, and reuse them, mm. I would tend to keep the different pieces for the different mediums that you're working mm. in. So okay. I wouldn't cross over the copper and the silver clay, for example. Mm -hmm. I'd keep the silver clay washed out once for the silver clay mm. and, and, um, and so on. So again, can you see what we're doing is we're achieving a much nicer finish. It's much smoother, isn't it? It is. And when you run your finger over it, it's beautiful. So you will get a much better finish. Um, and sometimes there are little cracks in the clay that even the eye can't see. Mm. And so what happens is they open up when it fires. Okay. Um, so if you can see a crack, it will it will appear mm. when you've fired it. Um, so that's that's basically what we can do. So the next my next stage, I'm gonna turn that over because it's got dust all over it. <laughs> um, is to uh, to create this kind of um, appearance of um, of lines in the centre of the mm, flower. Okay. You might want to bring that one over. Yes, actually, I can Carol, do. Yeah. Just so we can get. Oh, the sorry. On, on the camera to, to focus in on it, and you can see what I mean by um, as though, though you've got kind of lines radiating out of the centre. Oh, can yeah. You see how that? do you get that look? Well, um, you can use anything that, that's mildly scratchy. So you can use um, you can use a needle file or something like that. I've got a little wire brush here. Oh, here you have. So um, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to literally scratch. Oh wow. Presumably, I mean, you could use some kind of a texture stamp, couldn't you? But it's not going to give you. Not going to give you this kind of rough look. Yeah, that you want. exactly. So this is anything gorgeous. that. Um, what you could use is you could use a pan scourer. Oh really? Have a look around the kitchen. There's always something. Chloe actually <laughs> just said. Sorry, director Chloe, who's directing at the minute, just said that as a bit of a joke in my ear. Say, like, oh yes, use a use a Brillo pad. You would be but amazed you, what I've used. But I bet you could. And you know, and and the size of um, things that you want to cut out. Sometimes you don't have a cutter that's the right size and I've used jar lids in the cupboard. Pen lids. In fact whenever I want to use my gravy browning I don't know what I actually did with the lid after I used it to cut out around. So it's somewhere in the world Tell you and what. my gravy browning has no lid but it's But you've got some gorgeous pieces of metal clay so that's okay. So you can see what we've got there. But rubbish and gravy. I'm going to <laughs> just get from my little tool bag. This is amazing, isn't it? So you've got your four brand new products, your two lots of sandpaper, your bronze wire for $15.95, and everything, every single thing Natalia has used here 
is in the starter pack as well for 54.95 you can see why it's just it's it's just it's just fantastic isn't it? it's wonderful so what i've done is Lovely. i've used a brush to brush away the excess. that's just like a makeup brush isn't it yeah, it's just a, just a little craft brush and there there you can see we've got that oh that looks surface. great so that is going to look so much nicer more authentic flower like when it's fired mm, trust absolutely. me trust me it will i trust you <laughs> we trust it don't we okay the next thing is to um insert the wire so I'm going to make a hole. Now, you could make a hole at the, the um, I was going to ask you that. I thought you might have forgotten to do that, but clearly no. she hasn't. <laughs> I didn't forget. I'm like an elephant. I know. I know. Have faith. Trust <laughs> Natalia. Trust Natalia. <laughs> okay. I'm using, um, you know, the pin vise? I'm just using the I pin do, vise yeah. with a little collet in and um, a little screwdriver. A little I wonder if you could use the reamer from the, um, from the small toolkit for this. Possibly. But you can get these, these mini, mini drill bits. Drill bits. So I'm using, I always start with a smaller oh, one than I great. need. And then this is um, one mil, so it will be big enough for my wire to you go. You might even be able to use your Dremel if you've got a Dremel. If you've got a Dremel, yeah, do it gently. You probably don't even need to turn the power on, just use the, the mm, drill heads. Mm. So we've got a, a hole in the center there. Lovely. And then, this is where we get the exciting <gasps> Here's the wire. wire. So it comes on this reel, which is great, great for storing it. And if it's a little bit kinked, don't worry, just use your fingers. I'm talking to Laura Binding and, um, and uh, Gemma Crow about wire. And they said the best tools that you can use with wire. And that, you know, you're kind of on the edge of your seat. Yes, yes, I'm about to hear some really in, in, important secret. They said your hands, I bet, just use yeah. your fingers to smooth it. Yeah. So that's, that's why you are who you are and what you do. Like you condition the clay, you condition the wire, don't you? It's really, it, 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 it's, you know, it's fantastic to just use your hands. Very tactile, mm, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting wow. off a length there of, what is that, about six inches? Yeah. Something like that. So don't worry if you have any little bits of excess that you are left over at the end. Don't chuck them away. Keep them on one side because you will be able to embed them in other um, clay yeah, pieces. Yeah, absolutely. That As we've seen. Okay. So again, smoothing it, getting it all straight, but don't worry, you can still do this after it's fired. And then I'm going to insert the wire through my hole, like mm -hmm. that. And then I want to leave a really good length of wire, because when I put my stone through, um, or, or my um, bead or whatever I'm going to use when I've fired, um, I want to be able to create some kind of nice swirl. Oh yeah, it, so absolutely, leave enough on the end there. I want plenty. Okay. And the other thing that I'm going to do is to create this bale. So I'm just going to bend that wire over and then use some round nose pliers just to take the wire back. So you're using this just the same as you would the copper wire that we have? Yes, absolutely. And, and the quality is very similar actually, it's, it's, it's very, very pliable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, and then what you can do is you can either chop it off there or you could do a twisted loop, it's up to you. I'm just going to chop it at this point. Just for ease. Just for ease, yeah. It's nice and easy to cut, it's just that I have some very blunt cutters, <laughs> which are making the job look more, more uh, complicated than it is. Um, and you can, at this point, to make your life easy, you can actually bend that up. It won't affect the wire at all. You'll be able to bend it back once you've fired it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of paste. Oh, OK. Um, I may have shown this before, but I'll do it again. I don't think I've seen this before. Have you not seen the paste no. mixing? The paste mixing's fun. Exciting. So just using any, you can use a plain card or a Teflon and, um, and just squeeze a bit of water. This is copper coloured water because my water pen um, has been used okay. a lot for... Um, just pop your hands over to the left a little bit, thanks. Okay, can we see okay with that? So you've got your mini trowel. I've got a, a little craft tool. I love it. You could use a lollipop stick or anything it's like tiny. that to, to mix with. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm just adding water. It's like you're going to lay a brick wall. It's like mixing. It's amazing. It is like mixing grout or cement it or whatever. Is, isn't it? It's brilliant. I feel like a dentist actually. Yes. When I'm doing this. For doing fillings. Yeah. Copper fillings. That would be awesome. That would be painful. It would be, Carol. wouldn't it? It would be. But that sorry. That would be very strange tasting as well. <laughs> because I know what copper tastes like because I've usually got it on my hands and I put my hands in my mouth and I think I really need to wash my hands a bit better. That does look like chocolate. Please don't eat it. Yes, it looks like um, chocolate. Yeah, something yummy, but it doesn't <laughs> taste very nice. So then, once you've got a sticky, tacky kind of paste, yeah, you're going to do is you're going to 
Oh, so this Lila. is wonderful. Which is why you need something that you can, you can do with this with a cocktail stick, but if you've got a little craft tool, then ideal. And I know what our audience is like. They usually don't just do one craft, they do many. Mm. So if you do any kind of cake decorating, if you do paper crafts and things, you've probably got something of this nature. And this is where this wire really comes into its own, because if you were to use sterling silver wire for this, when you come to fire the piece, the wire would melt, wouldn't it? It would melt, yes. If you were to use the cut, if you were to use the coloured copper wire, then the colour would probably come off, wouldn't it? It would, and you don't know what you're going to end up with. Exactly. So. so, because you're using the bronze wire here, you know it's going to react the same way in which in which in which the in which the uh, the metal clay is working, which is why it's so exciting to have all these because now you can make your own bezel settings, your own bales, and and they're se secured. They're secured onto that that pendant. That's right. So you would take your time doing this and it, you know, you can often dry it out and then you'd have to do it again. So live TV is, is kind of um, a difficult thing for me to show, but at least I'm going to get you started with this. Mm, so definitely. I would smooth that out because if you leave it in a lump, then you're going to have to deal with that lump when it's dry. Mm. So the more work you can do at this stage, getting it refined and really nice, and then don't do too much at once, come back to it two or three times. Mm. It's, mm -hmm. it's very therapeutic, trust me. <laughs> Okay, so um, then we come on to firing. So you will have seen in the uh, in the, the mar uh, sorry in the introduction to um, metal clays earlier we on that the I talked off. about. We did t we we were a bit brazen and we turned the lights off. Yeah. Um, but we we showed how to fire it. And I need to to just stress something um, really important at this stage that don't worry about melting the metal. A lot of people say to me, "Oh, I didn't want to get it too hot." Getting it hot is the only way to get it to sinter so that all the particles melt together and it becomes a really strong piece of metal. Um, so you want it glowing a bright red. If you can get it to glow orange, even better. I've even had my metal glowing yellow and it has not melted. I have wow. tried to melt it with a, with a super duper hot torch that I bought that's a plumber's torch and I cannot melt copper clay. That's really good to know. So yeah. Get, dive in there with the torch, get it as hot as possible and fire it for as long as possible because it's the length of time and the heat that will give you the success that you're looking for. And somebody said to me um, the other day about how will I know if it's not fired? Well, you will know if when you um, come to brush it, any parts of it come away. Ah, interesting, okay. So if there's any bits of it falling off, it has not been fired fully. And so you can go back and fire mm. it again, but you will lose a little bit mm. of your piece. And don't forget, with, with the starter pack, with details at the bottom of the screen there for $54.95, you've got your instruction manual as well, which, which guides you through the firing of all these metal clay pieces. So don't be, so don't be frightened. As Natalie says, it, it's pretty much impossible to melt, to melt the metal with the blowtorch that is given to you in this starter pack. So don't be frightened, just go for it. Go for it. Right. Now, I noticed that also you've got my DVD. Over I there, do! And that's the only DVD that we sell that actually goes into great detail about the firing and the pickling process. Right. So if you are in any doubt about that, then this is the DVD for you. Now, this DVD here, you, you never, I tell you what, Natalia, you never disappoint us. This DVD is 109 minutes long. This is like feature film length. Natalia. It's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie. It is. <laughs> there is fire in this movie. But with no guns <laughs> and a lot of metal. Yes, and I'm a bit smaller than Arnie. <laughs> you are, and a lot more beautiful. <laughs> $12.95. Now, this is for your captivating copper and bronze clay. You can use this, I, well, I assume, alongside the starter pack yes. uh, that you get that here. Absolutely in tandem with that yeah yeah absolutely and just to give you a rough idea of what's on this uh you've got uh products tools and materials rolling and texturing clay egyptian style pendant creating dimensions adding silver to copper and bronze clay preparing your pieces for firing firing uh pieces in a kiln or with a gas torch how to remove oxidization i mean it goes on and on and on there is everything every oh, i'll put it on the desk here for you tom um, the, the, there is everything on this dvd that you could possibly wish for um, and don't forget if you do have any questions after you've watched the dvd contact um natalia via yeah. facebook you can always ask her questions text in now if you want to ask questions now this is our text number text to charge at your network um, standard network rate your name where you're from um you don't have to tell us where you're from we're just nosy um, <laughs> but, but any questions that you have and natalia will do her best to answer them any questions on facebook just type them in there and we will do our best to answer them as well and just ignore the yeah, sorry ignore the um nine to one p.m um time thing there just ignore that um but that's 12 pounds 95p 
That is invaluable, isn't it, Natalia? That's over an hour and a half's worth of tuition there. It is, and I think if you're starting out with this, one of the, the big concerns is, you know, what do I do from opening my kit through to how do I actually finish the pieces? Mm. And, you know, if, if you need that help, then it's there for you. Yeah, it's got some nice projects on her as well, so it does guide you through, and, and, and it will inspire you. You can take as much from this DVD as you want. Lovely, lovely DVD here, and really nice and easy to follow. Fantastic, Natalia. Right. Okay, so assuming we fired the piece and everything went well, which I did, and I have a piece here, and uh, I pickled it, so the pickle is removing any oxidised layer from mm -hmm. the fired piece, and I've also polished oh, it. Oh, that's beautiful. So I spent a little bit of time um, preparing this, and you can see how the wire actually has this lovely, if I show you, I'm oh, it's the nice and polished, can isn't it? This, the difference between the wire. Yes, one's kind of quite matte. Brushed, and then the one has a, a pinky look there. Oh, yes, look at difference. that. So I've Compl actually polished that. Very different colours, aren't they? Yeah. So you can you can leave it in this kind of almost ancient looking state, or you can make it a little bit more mm, modern looking. Beautiful. And then we're going to set our drilled, well, you can put any bead you want on it. So Do you know what's just struck me about the, um, about the wire, actually? Mm. You've got bronze wire, which when you leave it unpolished, it looks like bronze, obviously. When mm. you polish it, it looks like copper. So you've yeah. actually got a wire that will go with both metals, even though bronze and copper are quite Absolutely. different. Absolutely, you've hit the nail on the head. It is so true because it had that very bronze. And I was thinking, oh, how's this going to work with the copper clay? But it looks exactly like it, copper. Yeah. It's amazing. And actually, because uh, bronze is 90% copper anyway, this is why, you know, they're, they're, they're practically twins. They are, aren't they? they? Just a little bit of a chromosome different. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. okay. So then um, we, you can choose whatever bead mm. that you want to put on here. I found this lovely faceted shell pearl. Oh, in that's my, beautiful. Don't you love your stash? You've always got these yeah. random little beads in there. Love them. So um, obviously you need a bead that will accommodate 0.8 wire. So pop that on oh, there. Oh, look at that. Like nice that. and easy. Just goes on there like a dream. And then, see, I am not the wire goddess. If, if there was another person here, if Laura Banding was here, she would do some amazing, you know... Well, she's not here. The constellation of the sky or something. And I, I, think, I think... I, I, don't put yourself down. What shall we do? Shall we do something... I'll, I'll chop it down a little bit. Here we go. This is me. I'm this taking, is Natalia I'm getting creative. I'm control of the wire here. <laughs> and then... <laughs> this is not a wire masterclass. Please do not adjust your set. <laughs> <laughs> Just making a little swirl on there. Lovely. And... Um, Please do not send your feedback about my wire skills. It's beautiful. <laughs> so that's good. That's all you need. So, you know, do it however you like. I know you'll do a much more exciting job than me. And um, and there you have it. So you've got a lovely... Can I can have a look at the back that. of that as well? Because yeah. it'd be nice to see the back. Of, yeah, look at that bale. See. What a satisfying thing got. to be able to make. That really is satisfying, isn't one. it? And it's all in one. That's the thing. That's the glory of this. If you were to use any other wire, if you were to use sterling silver wire with this, it would it would quite possibly melt. If you were to use uh, some of the coloured copper wire, then the colour might come off. It might it might alter the quality of what you actually uh, turn out with. Because the bundle uh, for fifteen ninety five includes your bronze wire, and you can make that paste. It, it it enables you to make pieces like this. It enables you to make pieces which. Um, which can become one and, and the quality and, 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 and the end result is just incredible. It's just beautiful. Right. Okay, now I want to bring in the other pendant, mm -hmm. which um, Ed commented on this and said Producer it looks Ed. a little bit like a pearl shell with the, uh, with the pearl sitting inside it, which is quite nice. Oh, I that's like, lovely. I like the idea of that. I also call it my satellite dish pendant. This I think I nice prefer room. pearl oyster, Natalia. Yes, I think that's more You've kind of taken the romance away, yes. yeah. Satellite dish, I tell you what. <laughs> you should I think of these things. Yorkshire. You shouldn't say them, what Natalia. Kind of what can I say? Okay, so <laughs> what I've done here, the difference is I use the same um, principles where I push the wire into the wet clay. Mm -hmm. But what I did is I used a half-drilled pearl here and I actually oh. glued it in oh, that's place. that's interesting. So I trimmed the wire down just so that it was long enough to go inside the pearl. So like a little stump. Yeah, so mm. I used some jewellery glue to hold the pearl on it. Oh, that's so nice. You have more security with doing it something like this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, glue can you know crack and break off. Um, and then I've used the wire here. Oh, yes, you can see that. Isn't that lovely? I've, uh, I've actually just used it as a normal jewellery wire in, in that effect. So that's gorgeous. Fantastic. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to show you is how to use the, the bezel strip wire. 
um, right. setting setting the stone. Now, don't forget, this bundle for fifteen ninety five contains four brand new products. So it contains your zero point eight millimeter gauge bronze uh, bronze wire, um, five meters of this wire. Uh, which you've seen Natalia use. You've also got a metre of your four mil gauge bronze uh, bronze flat wire, which is fantastic. We're going to see a demo on that in just a couple of seconds. And your two lots of sandpaper, your medium and your ultra fine sandpaper. And we've seen how Natalia's used those as well. Now, um, this is going to be really interesting because this is unlike any wire that we've had on the show before. Mm. It's totally different. Yeah. And uh, I hope we can get some of this for the silver clay as well. So do I. Really oh, that'd be amazing. Can you imagine that? Things that we can do with that. Lovely. So this wire is nice and soft that you can actually use scissors to cut it with. Ooh. And, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off strips. And you want a decent length because you're going to coil it. So okay. you always want a little bit more than you, you actually need. So you're using just, well, just over an inch there, I suppose, aren't you? Close to two inches, maybe. Yeah, these scissors are quite blunt and are still cutting it really easily so you can see I've, I've cut a strip off like that mm. then what I'm going to do I hope I can do this successfully th with these scissors because they're not brilliant but I'm actually going to cut it in half ah do you know what I was wondering because I saw that when I saw the ring I thought that looks slightly thinner than the not point uh, sorry than the four mil gauge <laughs> so you actually cut it in half you're being really economical with it which is really brilliant yeah if you're using it as a dec decorative feature Mm. You could even, if you've got sharp enough scissors or, or shears or whatever, cut yeah. it into four or three. Oh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, lovely. There we go. And I've done that oh, with my wow. blunt scissors that cut through all this paper and, um, and foam and things. Mm -hmm. Sponge sanding pads. So there you can see, if you just use your fingers to smooth it out, that you've got um, two for the price of one there, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, mm. uh, and so we would do that again, um, and another two lengths, so we're going to have four to actually support the ring. If I bring the ring in, mm. if we can get that, let's put it the right way. There we go. Oh, that's so lovely. Four to actually capture mm -hmm. that stone in the centre. Okay. So I'm going to do this, actually, I wonder, let me just use this one that I, I rolled out earlier on. Yeah, that's a nice it's idea. The, the right kind of shape. Mm. You could do as well is um, jewellery maker have some um, polymer clay cutters and, um, and they have little flower shapes. So you could cut that flower shape out or Lovely. you could just do it freehand with a, with a mm -hmm. cutter. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the bezel wire and if we take some flat nose pliers and turn up about two or three centimetres like that so you're going to do like a little L shape so you've got right. a foot on the base of it and I'm going to pop this into, into my clay. Now do you do this after the clay is dry or do you do it whilst the clay is whilst still soft? It's, whilst it's soft. Okay. So you can see well, I've just inserted ah, it into yeah, you there can see that. as Lovely. an angle. And so it's important to try and do this in a, in a symmetrical way so that mm -hmm. you've got your, because you're thinking about when you're setting your piece mm. after firing. So again, turn that over. So you're going to do north, south, east, west. Yes, of course, yeah. And into there. And the reason why I'm going in at an angle is so that I don't make a big hole in the clay. Okay. Okay. And then you, I'd put another two pieces in there. Mm -hmm. You can put as many as you want if you wanted six. It will mm, make it much more secure nice. setting. And you may think that's ridiculous. She's got too much length on there, but you need it to be too long, mm. and it won't interfere with your firing when you're firing with the gas torch. It so won't you're leaving. So, so you're putting it in the clay whilst it's wet mm -hmm. or whilst it's soft. Yeah. You're leaving that to dry, and then you fire it. So you fire it with the wire in it. You fire it with the wire in it. it so that's will fire incredible. Which is what we did with the other one. Yeah, of course. Piece. Fired with the with the uh, wire in it. Now, when that, before we fire it, you can see oh, yes, we've look actually at that. got our wire underneath. So again, using our paste. We say I would wait for this to dry because it's a lot easier to deal with. It's a tricky customer when it's when it's soft clay, mm -hmm. but to uh, to actually cover up your wire, use your paste like that. And then obviously That's you may need to do that two or three times. Yes. You use your water pen to tidy up. And um, some of the backs on mine, I didn't spend the time because I was trying to, to get as many samples mm -hmm. done for the for the masterclass as possible, but it's really worth investing the time in mm. doing that. Absolutely, yeah. Um, the other thing that's really important is if you're going to attach this to a ring, which is what I've done here, I've actually wire wrapped the ring afterwards. I have to ah, fire it. Ah, right. You can see it's got a wire 
um, wire um, shank mm -hmm. is I put, I'm using a cocktail stick, two holes in the centre mm -hmm. so that I can feed my wire through after I fire. So I was going to like ask you, button. yeah. Can you see? Yeah. And then you need to make those big enough so that they can actually get a, a 0.8 or 0.6 wire through whatever gauge. So you wire physically you make those holes in the in the um, in the clay. Yes. So you can see that you don't fire it with the wire because that's the whole point of having this bronze wire is the fact that you can fire with the bronze wire. And um, if, if when you make a shank of a ring um, out of your um, um, antique bronze coloured copper wire, whatever kind of copper wire you use, um, then then you want to put your holes in your clay ready. To, ready to feed the wire into after you have fired the piece, not before. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this mm. and I'm going to unassemble it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Just to show you um, how I actually fitted the... This is going to be fascinating because we've had so many people asking questions and, 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 and so many people who I know in her workshop have, have wondered how they can set gemstones which can't necessarily be fired with metal clay, how they can set it with metal clay. Yeah. And this is how to do it. So I've attached my ring and then you can mm. see I've got I had my holes in the centre and that's how I attach the wire. Okay. So it's all it's all nice and secure with the um, I'm bleeding a little bit, sorry, did I just you cut my hand. Oh lovely. Sorry, and you do, don't want to see that's that. That's okay. Do you know one of the wonderful things about this design is that you can interchange the gemstones. I mean Natalia's got one of a uh, one cabochon gemstone here, but you can interchange the gems, can't you, Natalia? You can. This is the, the great thing about this is you can actually undo it so have you healed um well let's see <laughs> you pulled me did you stab yourself with the scissors <laughs> those really the, blunt scissors the wire, so be careful do you know this is where me and wire we don't get on because i always end up cutting myself so the, this is a flat back cabochon which is a really mm. great um i'm sure we have tons of these you know in yeah some of the, gorgeous. The, the different offers that we do where you can get hold of them mm. um, from gem collector so pop that in the centre. Now you could actually pop a bit of jewellery glue on there if you yeah, wanted to. Yeah, you could do. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then what you're going to do is just using the end of your round nose pliers, just curling oh, in. Oh, look at that! The wire. And this creates your kind of prong setting, but also it creates this beautiful decorative effect, which looks like a flower in bloom. Which is why you know I said if you want to have more pieces of bezel wire then go for it because I think that would look lovely and this is something I'm going to try as well. But this is, but this is, but Natalia, with this brand new bundle, this 1595 bundle mm -hmm. that you have put together, mm -hmm. you've single-handedly answered hundreds of people's questions. How do I set a gemstone with metal clay if it can't be fired with metal clay? This is how to do it. You've got to get this bundle because you're using wire that can be fired with metal clay so you can make your own setting you can make your claw setting mm. you'd be able to now if you wanted to make a bezel setting how would mm. you fire that would you fire it with a fire uh, with a gas torch or in a kiln well or? you would need to, to um solder, solder. That, that's what so you're saying i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't advise it if, it if it's something that you're not comfortable with mm. doing but i know there's a lot of people who are metal workers who are watching the show who've worked with copper and done silversmithing so you know mm. you will you maybe already have some, you might be investing in it today and then you know that you'll know what to do with it. You see this is fantastic um, um, uh, just 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 for such a for such a small amount of money you can transform your metal you can take your metal clay jewelry to that next step you can yeah. start setting it with gemstones which is something which I think a couple of years ago um, something a couple of years ago I don't think we would have necessarily thought would have been possible on jewelry maker now it is. Now we've had a question we've had a question from uh, June can you fire metal clay and silver clay together? Um, there is a method for doing that, right. but it's not something that I can talk about with this particular brand of clay mm -hmm. because um, normally you would use um, the, the longer firing clays to do that. So the, the art clay brand of copper clay can be fired with art clay silver. Um, but it would need to be done in a kiln. So these are clays which are designed to, to get those um, results very, very quickly and very, yeah. very efficiently, as we can see, and very, very beautifully. 
But if you want to do that, then maybe um, maybe look at another brand of clay, which 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 is going to be kiln fired. And really look into it and have proper training because there's been a lot of work and research done on it, and people mm. have been trained to to do it because there's a sweet spot. There's a there's an optimum firing point for the silver, and then there's a lowest firing point yeah. for the copper or bronze. And they they put those two times together. If you're going to do it with the torch, you're going to melt your silver. So yeah. I wouldn't go for it. What what you can do is you can create a hole and put um, so in your copper or bronze clay piece, fire that first and then plug the hole with silver clay and mm. fire the silver afterwards and it's actually there's an example of it on ah, my DVD as well. So you can do it, you just got to be a little bit clever about you it. You have to um, do it in two firings. And get the DVD, get the I'd DVD. advise to get the DVD, £12.95p <laughs> for 109 minutes of... There's a whole chapter of Natalia. It. Yes, in fact there is. Uh, there is a... Uh, Ba, 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 ba. Where is it? Adding silver to copper and bronze clay, part one. And adding silver to uh, copper and bronze clay, part two. There's two chapters on it, chapter seven and chapter 14, primarily for that. So June, if you want to get this DVD, um, your questions have been answered on this DVD. And plus you get um, loads and loads and loads of other chapters as well. 15 chapters on this DVD, 12, 9, 12, it's amazing. It's almost twice the length of uh, some of the DVDs that we can offer you here on Joy Makers. That is going to be very, very, very informative indeed. Fantastic. Right. Um, now, if you do have any further questions for Natalia, um, I'm, I'm sorry, we've tried to cram so much into this show today and it's been so fascinating watching Natalia as well, um, then, then please do. And we will do our best to read them out before the end of the show as well. Um, what you're essentially going to be getting here is um, the starter pack, which for 54 95 you can, oh, sorry, I thought we were bringing the details of the starter pack. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. No, 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 don't worry about it. The starter pack, which is 54 95 that literally has everything in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I um, mean, you've seen, I've been using all the tools when I've been making those pieces myself this, this afternoon. Yeah, you see, this is it. Um, uh, there is not a single tool in here that you will think, well, why on earth have I got that? Every single one of these tools are tools which have been selected by Natalia and, and they're designed to be, and they're designed to be used. Um, 200 grams of clay, that's one of the major, major things about this kit. And of course, it comes with instructions, which is wonderful. I would advise you get the DVD as well for 12.95, though I really, really would, to be really, really um, informed about it and you can also come on Natalia's workshops as well the next one is July the sorry um, uh, September September the se early early September if you want to come on them um, um, sick September the 6th if you want to come on Natalia's metal clay workshop um, and of course for 1595 we've got these brand new varieties of um, sandpaper and your brand new bronze uh, bronze wires as well and what this allows you to do is to make those rings, is to, is to create those bales on the back of pieces and fire them with your bronze clay and not have to worry, oh, is it going to bond? Is it going to stick? It literally just fuses together, doesn't it? It's amazing. Yeah, the, it fires beautifully in place. Mm. Yeah, just wonderful, and so much and so much better than using uh, than using substandard um, um, substandard uh, metals as well. Now, if you want to go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, you can add on to your order individual packs of clay. Um, we've got um, we've got two individual packs of clay. We've got um, 100 grams of the copper, 100 grams of the bronze. Um, thanks, Tom. That's great. Details at the bottom of your screen as well. So if you want to add either of these onto your order, then go for it. Um, for your copper clay, it's 12.95. For your bronze clay, it's 12.95, and 100 grams of each, which is just fantastic. So the same that you get in the starter pack. Um, and you can make so many pieces out of these, can't you, Natalia? Yeah, you can really indulge yourself with this. And that's the great thing about the metal clays as opposed to silver clay. Silver clay is beautiful, mm. but it's a little bit more pricey. Yeah, it is It is absolutely superb. Natalia, it has been wonderful. It has been wonderful to watch you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Moving forward with your workshops, do you think you're going to be focusing more on these kind of project-based things? Because it would be lovely yes. Yes, if people definitely. could come on your workshops and, and work through projects like this. I mean, for example, with silver clay, we've run, workshops for two years now and so we are moving into more mm. project based more technical ne technique based workshops for people who've already come on the um, introduction yeah. ones they can up their skill levels you see this is it this year definitely on jewelry maker we are focusing more on project based workshops for our guest designers so for you um, if you've already come on uh, any of our workshops here at jewelry maker then keep an eye out because these are the kind of workshops that we're going to be running in the future in jewelry maker always speak to the call center or live help about any of the workshops which you've got upcoming I definitely book on to Natalia's. The response we've had today to these new products is absolutely 
overwhelming. We've had some wonderful texts, and thank you very much for your te um, supportive text. Had lots of texts, and Natalia complimenting Aww, you on your design today, which you. has been lovely. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, Natalia is going to be back with us. Um, when are you back with us? I'm doing a, a show and a masterclass in Silver Clay next Thursday. Oh, fantastic! So same time next week, but we're doing brilliant. Silver. So same time next week, we're going to be bringing you a masterclass for silver clay. Is there going to be a similar kind of a similar oh, kind of feel yeah. to it? We're going to be doing these all the time. So I'm so excited. Oh, fantastic. It's going to be yeah. awesome. So <laughs> Natalia's going to be with you next Thursday. Um, same time, same place for a, um, a live silver clay masterclass. And of course, on our live show between nine and one. Thank you very much for joining us today, guys. And thank you so much, Natalia. You've thank been you. awesome. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. See you Bye. in a bit. Bye-bye.